You can't be messing with my drone. We are gonna show you guys how we do field scouting. If you have a field a long way away, we're gonna show you how you do that. Almost hit the tree. Transmission signal off. Transmission signal off. How's it going, folks? I'm Mike with New Way X. If you didn't watch the last video, go over there and check that out. Some sick footage using drones to spray wheat. You got to see it. I'm winded because I was getting swole. I, I seriously was doing push ups. You do push ups. We make camera guy do push-ups too. This video, I'm gonna show you guys how we use drones to scout the fields, make sure there's no obstacles and that type of stuff. And then we're also going to be teaching Matt how to do a mission. He's never flown an ag drone. He's never flown a drone off the top of a trailer. And so that's what we're gonna do. These drones can knock out some acres. I'm telling you, this is the part where I'm gonna tell you again how many acres I done last year. I did 11,000 acres in 24 days. So you, telling me that these drones can't spray acres, you're wrong. Fake news, 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 fake news. So if the drone is telling you something, like let's say that the drone's like, oh, obstacle. You have to know how to get the drone quickly out of that situation and continue flying. If you're not flying, you're not covering acres. Not covering acres, you ain't taking the Benjamins home and putting them in the pocket, okay? Hey there, boy. Huh? You can't be messing with my drones. So let's back the rig in here and let's get working. I'm just gonna split it. We got 24 acres. So when I try to get as close to 12 acres per piece, since we're flying two drones, they're gonna be doing about the same amount of work. I'm gonna save it, submit. And then coming up around these trees, giving myself a little bit of room. There was, go back down, there's trees right in here somewhere. So I'm gonna take one of these off and just go check. It might be that far, yeah. It's looking like it is that far. Yep, that's it. Looks like it was way past those yeah. trees. Okay, so we're definitely right. That helps us like be the best. Okay, so we just got done building the boundaries on our phone. We built it, we split it, and now it went to the cloud. Now we're going to download them to our controller. By the way, I have Starlink on my rig. I wanna have internet wherever I go. So I got little dishy on the back of the truck. Those are connected to my uh, controllers. The internet access is probably the most important part about having a, an efficient operation when you're doing like tens of thousands of acres. For this farmer, right, 200 acres, you don't need internet but when you wanna share your data with the farmers when you're doing tens of thousands, having internet all the time is so important. So we are going to go into the DJI Agris app, then we're gonna click on the uh, files folder, then we're gonna hit this download button, and then it's going to bring up the fields that we just made. We're going to select those two, and then hit confirm. Now he's going to download it to the controller. Okay, so now we got that, we're going to hit begin. We're going to choose this one. We're going to create a new template. In this template, we're going to just call it wheat, doing uh, two gallons per acre. We want 90 microns. We want the flight speed, 32.8. Route spacing, 32. The height above the crop, where you go for 12 feet. And then we hit save. The route optimization is turned on. All right, I'm just going to double check those. Yep. So we can uh, put the batteries in it. We'll start the generators and uh, we'll get flying. We want to turn this margin to zero. Then we launch it. We can hit start. It's going to tell us if there's something in the way. Here, if that green thing is turned on, right? This connection route altitude. If that is turned on, the drone will go 
up the altitude you set right there is 72 feet if it's like this i manually take them off and i turn this off because that way when i swipe the drone is going straight to the field that is incredible like people think that the swath is not good but that is an insane swath I'm setting this return to home to 98 feet. When task is complete, I want it to return to home. On signal loss, I want it to return to home, but that is if you're manually doing it. Continue task on signal loss. If the signal is lost, the drone will still continue its task. I want to turn that on. So we're going to slide it. We could easily set this down to 10 because there's no hills or anything. Man, those things are flying beautifully. So here it's going to tell you covered 4.68 acres, 9.4 gallons, and you have 15.3 gallons remaining. Pretty easy stuff. When the running's like this, a guy can get some serious acres done with this setup, the new way ag trailer. Everything's right here. If you're thinking about doing it, you have to fly off the top. I'm just telling you. Wanna do a battery swap? Boom. Come here. Bam. Come over. Grab it. Bam. That's how fast that is. Setting up the repeater drone. If you have a field, a long way away and you got to get over there we're going to show you how you do that we're going to use our matrice with a repeater it's going to take the signal from the controller to the repeater to the drone All right, that took longer than I was hoping just because when you're trying to teach somebody something and you're trying to troubleshoot something and things aren't quite working, then sometimes it just doesn't work. We got it done. Matt, did you learn anything? Yes. Okay, so Matt did learn some. That's great. The one issue we were running into is the reception. So there are times when our reception here in our area, I've talked about it to multiple different people. A lot of data moving stuff inside of that video, if that's what you guys want. If it is, we'll do more of those. But that's all we got. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Gotta get swole. Dude, gotta, gotta get the blood flowing. Yep, gotta get swole. Ugh, bugs. Getting the good side of me? Yeah. I just got done getting swole. Yep, this is me doing push-ups. You see how you like. How's it going, folks?